I'm meteorologist Ben Bailey showers around tonight and the cold front sweeping through is going to do two things. Of course, it's going to lower the temperature, but it's also going to spike the winds right when that slices through probably about 9 10 o'clock. We'll see those winds get up to about 30 miles per hour. Plus on the other side of that, we're going to be dry by the time the sun comes up and we will get a good deal of sunshine on on Saturday. However, uh, chilly is definitely the word. Highs only getting into the 50s. Plus, we've got a breezy day, even though the spike in the winds are going to be right along that front. It's still going to be about 15 to 20 mile per hour winds through the day on Saturday. Now, here's Sunday and that low hanging out there to the north. Notice that there's going to be some snowflakes in the UP as we get into this weekend. We're going to skip out on that, but we will get the tail end of that trough. So that's going to bring rain chances back to the forecast by Sunday afternoon and Sunday evening. We'll be pretty light and widely scattered, so not nearly as many showers as what we're going to get tonight going into the overnight hours. And we will get another spike of wind on Sunday morning when we wake up. Gust 35 miles per hour plus as we get started on Sunday. So lows tonight will be dropping down into the low 40s. Some of those showers could be heavy at times, maybe a rumble of thunder, but most of this is going to be rain. 54 on the high side tomorrow, uh, the showers before daybreak, and then we will stay dry through the day. 61 on Sunday, a couple of those light sprinkles, mainly in the north and west zone, but it is all below average from that point through Friday of next week.